Hello, this is Silofix from GameStack Gaming. Uh, we're going to play Dofus today, which is a MMORPG, tactical based, turn based as well. We're going to make a new character, male. Um, we're going to have a quick look at the classes. First class is Epheka. They use protective spells to protect their allies or themselves. Then um, the second class is an Osomotus, which is a summoner's class. They are also known as a good supportive class. They are used as secondary healers or other kinds of things as giving action points to allies. Then the third class is an Enetroth. They are long ranged attackers and they are most usually used as uh, a character, a secondary character to get extra drops. Then the fourth class is a Shram. Uh, they are the typical thief or rogue character, they use traps and go invisible to attack their opponent. A seller is uh, used to take away uh, action points from enemies or also have um, long ranged attack spells. And look at that hair. Then uh, the next class is an Echo Flip. The Echo Flip uses attack spells which are based on luck, so you can get buffs or debuffs according to your luck in with the spell. Usually it gives uh, positive effects, but they are really affected by luck. Uh, the next class should be the yeah. next class is the Anaripsa. And Anaripsa is uh, the main healer class of uh, Tophus, which is basically what everybody uses them for. They have decent amount of attacks, not that long ranged, but they're mainly healer purpose. Then the next class is an Iop. An Iop is a melee based character. A lot of his spells are close ranged. They have a few spells which brings them around, like jump for example, or they have a few AoE attacks. Then the next class is um, the ranger class. Um, there he is. Uh, the Kra they are also the basic ranger of every MMORPG actually. Uh, they have a lot of far range spells, they have spells to take away range from other opponents. And they are also damage based. Then the Sadida is a shaman uh, slash druid class. They summon dolls to um, to take away things from enemies or to give themselves extra HP or to damage them. Then the next class is a Sacrier's Blood. The Sacrier is basically the tank class. You can you can uh, compare it to any paladin. Really, they their main stat is vitality, but they have uh, spells as when they are hit, their uh, characteristics go up, which is a good use of uh, tactical play. And the Padawa's Pint is um, basically a class for uh, DPS, mostly damage dealing. The strength class is very useful because the soft cap on the spell points is very low. It's only for forever, it goes on to 3 spell points for 1 strength. And then the next class is basically uh, another thief class which uses bombs to uh, attack or to disable any opponent they have. I really haven't played much about it yet so I don't really know what they do or how you can play them best and to be honest I don't really like it that much either because it's a very hard class to play and it's really not recommended to start with. As your uh, as your first character, then the next class is uh, the Masquerader. So the Masquerader here, they are um, class that um, they damage other players, but they use this mask um, to protect themselves or to take over another. Uh, look, which gives them other spe specialities to damage or other things. 
then the last and final class is the Fogger Knot, which we will be playing. They're basically an, uh, a technician's class. They go with uh, harpoons or other kinds of technical things which attack, heal or support your own characters or enemy cha characters. They don't really make a difference between an enemy or, or uh, an ally, so it's a very smart class to play. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So, um, what we're going to do in this uh, first episode is basically the character creation, of course, and then the, the tutorial of Incarnum, which is the starting area. Um, note that I have uh, three other characters on this server, on this account, which gives me uh, more experience, which would probably make it more interesting for you people, because uh, otherwise it won't be, um, otherwise it would be a lot of grinding, which never is fun to watch, of course. Also, uh, I'm going to do professions as well, but I will do those off cam so you don't have to be bothered with um, endless grinding of professions. And let's adjust this a little bit more. So we have a cool red looking thing. And let's see. Let's go all red with this one. I like the look of this character really. It's, it's like those puff pants and then the collar around his neck is amazing. And of course the name would be Silofix. There we go, let's start. So, loading screen, of course, and there we go, the guided tutorial, let's continue. Position yourself on the map, so you can click here and talk to this guy. Hello Xylofix, I see you're new here. If you'd like, I can teach you a few of this world's basic principles. That would be great. So, we gotta click on our inventory down there. Sorry. Um, so open your inventory and drag the novice ring on your ring slot and close it down again and then change maps of course in this game you have to uh, go to the edge of your map and you change maps which is interesting this tutorial really gives you a few basics but it's all about learning how to use your spells of course the game isn't really that into um, just meet it up and just go on all on because tactics really make a difference here and uh, we've done that let's talk to this guy and put on all the rest we got it should give us a small boost to our our stats not much just our vitality really and then a little bit of initiative so we can start our first uh, our fights at first this is a final fight for the uh, tutorial so if we kill this one the tutorial is done this is where I use my spell for the first time I think yeah. I'm going to use this spell for the first time and then this is the harpoon I was talking about it that you have to hit it with an elemental attack of your of your class to boost it so it attacks with the element you hit it with and uh, we got a key right away it's not that bad there's a quest um, you need a key for but oh, let's see an achievement they're already always good and let's see which uh, we'll choose a, a build later on I am going to put a point on Arpuna already I think yes so this was uh, Xylofix with the first episode of our let's play I hope you liked it and leave a like or a comment below thank you